press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Let's look at how to leverage variables in Terraform. There are different types of variables. The first one is called local variables. We also have input variables and output variables. Let's look at first what are local variables. Let's create a separate folder inside the Terraform Primer so that we can create some variables and then understand how we can leverage variables. So I'm going to create a three hyphen variables folder. This is three because this is the third video in the series. The second one was obviously the architecture. If you want the architecture diagram to be posted in the GitHub repo, do let me know, I can upload that as well. For now, I'm just creating a new folder called variables and I'll be creating some Terraform files within that so that I can show you what are the different types of variables. So the first one is the local variables. Local variables are useful when you want to have variables assigned with some repeated stuff. For example, we want to assign some repeated operations or repeated static content which we are reusing in the same file. So that's when you, we use something called local variables. So let's look at that by creating a simple example. So let's create a new file. I'm going to call this file as variables.tf and these are local variables right so i'm just going to call this as local hyphen variables.tf and let me get the same content whatever we created as a part of our previous video so we created an ec2 instance so if you see here we had different variables uh, which are present here imagine i want to have multiple ec2 instances created in that case i might have to like have a new resource which also has a similar kind of content right so we might be creating uh, web1 and web2 Right, so we might be doing that however if you see there are repeated texts like instance types and then variables which are there in the tags so i can group these instant types as something called as locals so to define a local variable we have to leverage a block or a dsl called locals so i'll be just having something called locals and i can create my variables within my locals section here so I'm going to have something called as instance hyphen type equal to p3.micro. So this way I can reuse this instance type and then I can just replace this p3.micro in both these places into a single variable. So I can just mention local. So how to leverage or inject the local variables is using local command. So we defined using locals section. However, to use it, we are going to use local dot instance underscore type. So the same thing I'm going to use here local dot instance type that's it so we can reuse the variables in two different sections now how to check that I'm going to run some terraform command so we can check it here let's go into the folder which is three hyphen variables so once I'm in the folder I can now run the terraform init command because this is the first time we are going to run terraform in this folder so let the terraform CLI initialize so it knows what provider to use and it will download the plugins and do all those settings in the background so right now it's ready let me do a clear so that it comes to the top and now i can do a terraform plan using which it will tell us what are the things which are going to get created and if you remember we created a variable called locals under the locals uh, section we created a variable which was called as instance type and we use that instance type into different fields so let's check if it all got constituted so see that in the ec2 uh, which is the web2 instance it automatically translated into t3.micro the same thing should have happened in the web1 instance yeah even in the web1 i can see that there is a t3.micro so basically this is how you leverage variables the local variables when you want to reuse some text across our file obviously there are input variables you can use the input variables to have some variables and then inject them However, the best use of local variables is when you have something repetitive within the file and you want to keep it clean so that you can have everything defined in a single section. So all the tags also can be moved into that section. So I can just take this tag values and I can move them here. So here in the tag section, I'll just mention local dot tags. The same thing can be done here. This will make our code clean and leveraging locals, we can create some reusable patterns within the same file.
now let me go to the terraform cli and run the terraform plan so we should be able to see the tag which should get tokenized so let's go to the tag section yeah see that there are some tags called as name terraform example so our tags also got stamped so this is how you can leverage local variables i'm going to create a new file to show you how you can leverage input variables obviously local variables are much simpler these are like our local instance fields which we have been leveraging in different languages like java and python so i'm going to use input variables to define a way in which you can inject variables dynamically from outside the terraform file so i'm going to call this particular file as input hyphen variables.tf so inside this file i'm going to define some input variables so using input variables we can define variables using the variable section so i can just say variable with the variable name for example i can just define the variable name as instance hyphen type and i can provide the data type for this particular variable so i am going to define the data type for this variable as string there are predefined set of data types which are available so let's go to the uh, terraform documentation to understand that so if you come to the documentation of terraform let's go to the documentation terraform language and from there i can go to the variable section so if you go to the variables and the outputs you can see that there are input variables output values and local values so we saw what are local values there are some examples which are mentioned here you can definitely use them and if you go to the input variables we can see the different data types so there are different data types which are supported and these are the ones right there is string there is number there is boolean there is also list it also supports map and also objects right it also even supports tuple using which you can define a variable type so i'm just showing you a simple example with a string which is this and also you can define something called as description you can define the description to provide what is the type of variable which we have here done right so this is how we can define the variables now the value for these variables should be injected from the outside world so let me copy the content of the local variable and paste it here and i'm going to remove let's say this section because i want only one and instead of locals i'm just going to leverage the input variable so in order to access the input variables we can leverage something called var dot instance type instead of leveraging the local dot instance type here we are going to leverage var dot instance type because we know it's an input variable which is defined here and we are going to get that value here if you want to have a default value you can do that i am going to let's say provide a default value default dot instance let's type some default value so that way we know it's getting a default value so let me get that default value and pass it here so that's how i'm doing it here let me remove this local so let me go and remove the data section and also the provider and the terraform section because we already have all these present in the local variables.tf file so i'm not going to redefine them so i'm just having a variable which is injected as instance type and we will be creating an ec2 instance using the var function we are just injecting the instance type now let me run this so when i do a terraform plan it just identifies what is the state and it will tell us what it is going to create so for the web3 instance we had a default variable right if you see the default variable name is default.instance see this right it automatically passed that so for our variable of instance type for web3 we pass the default instance now i want to override this variable from the external world so how i can do that i can do that using the hyphen var variable and i can do a instance underscore type because that's my variable name and i can say t3 uh, dot small right so this is the variable name which i'm going to pass and this is the value so using the terraform plan it will inject this particular variable dynamically at runtime into the terraform files now let's see if it really got substituted so let's see where is the section yep it got substituted here because our instance type is now showing as t3 dot small of course there is another way of doing it you can also create a file called uh, terraform.tf vars so using the terraform.tf vars you can inject it as well 
so i'll be creating a new file called variables dot tfvars so this is again a terraform way of injecting configuration variables dynamically right instead of injecting it via the cli command directly if there are more variables then you can use the variables dot tf files now let me go and update the variables here so how can i do it i can just say instance underscore type equal to p3 dot let's say large also since this is a string i'm going to leverage t3 dot large as a string so that way terraform knows this is a string data type so instance type will be the variable name and t3 dot large is the value so now let's go back to the terminal to run this particular file which is the variables dot tf vars i can run terraform plan with a var file so var hyphen file will help you provide the path of the terraform variables file so that terraform can pick it up if you don't want to pass a file you will have to name the file it as terraform.tfwars if you name the file as terraform.tfwars it will by default pick up and load those terraform variables so you don't have to provide them again so let me just run this terraform plan hyphen var file now this should apply the new variable which is the t3.large into our value here so let's check if it is applied yep see that it's applied so in our web3 instance t3.large got applied now for fun sake let's create another file which is terraform.tfwars so in the terraform.tfwars i'm going to add the same variable but this time i'm going to add the variable as t2.large so that way i will show you how you can use terraform by not providing the variable file so i don't want to provide the variable files i just want to learn terraform plan then those variables which are input variables are now injected from the terraform.tfwars file so this should now substitute the value of t2.large instead of t3.large or the default instance. so see that t2.large also got substituted so we are able to now inject the variables in directly without providing the var file if we leverage terraform.tfwars input file so we created a terraform.tfwars which is going to be default if you create a variables.tf or any custom name.tfwars we will have to provide this as a variable argument to that particular file now that we have seen the input variables and the local variables let's look at what are output variables output variables are a way for you to create an output for this particular module so any command when you run with a group of terraform files this is called as a module so we will look at what is a module in the next section and how you can create multiple modules when you have complex deployments but in order to transmit data between different modules we can leverage outputs or let's say when we create some resources and we want to show something to the user as a part of the output that's when you can use output variables so let's create a new file called output variables .tf. here i'm going to output some of the values which we got so the dsl for that is you can just say output and you can see that vhs code automatically just coded this because i'm using the terraform plugin so the name of the output is uh, my let's say what is the name of the output instance so let's say this is called as a image id right because i want to get the image id of what image is getting created let's say because the image id is retrieved via the data object here so if you see here using the data object we are getting the image id which we don't know which gets dynamically injected and we are using it from the data object here so i want to get the value of this particular you want to image id and i want to just display them so in the output section i'm just going to say what value should i paste here i can just copy the value which is present here so i'm just copying this and then pasting it in the value section so that way when i run my terraform plan command right i'll be able to see what is the output which it got substituted and i want to have a dedicated section where i want to display and i want to pass this output from one module to another so this particular terraform module which is the three hyphen variables will pass this uh, image id for the value and if you want to have multiple variables you want to list as outputs you can definitely do that with multiple output sections
similar to how we had the input section with the variable we also have a description to say what this uh, means right so the image id for ami if let's say there are some sensitive information and you don't want to display them in the console you can also have a sensitive tag which you can mark it as true for now i'm going to mark that sensitive as false because i don't want to uh, because I want to show them so I just don't want to provide the sensitive so I'm just making it as false so that way you know that you can pass the uh, parameter which is called as sensitive now let's run this there is also something called depends on I will show that in a bit but meanwhile let's see if it is going to come or not will you be can you guess if we will be able to see the output see that we got the output here so the output of the image ID is now substituted with whatever image id it found this is how you can display outputs if let's say i mark this as sensitive as true let's see what happens i'm just doing a terraform plan again so see that it just says sensitive value so it's not displaying the output in the console however the value will be sent to another module so if you are transmitting some sensitive information across different modules you can mark that particular output variable as sensitive and you don't have to display that in the console so right now i'm just going to make it as false there's also a section called depends on which is depends underscore on using which you can define what resource are you dependent on so i can define my resource as for example here only when uh, my ec2 instance gets created i want to have my output printed so only when my ec2 instance is created right i want to have my output created so let's say web1 because we had an instance which was web1 so i'm just defining what ec2 instance we are dependent on so let's go to the terraform cli and then run what happens right i mean let's do a terraform plan and i should be able to see the output with the same ami id right and yeah i can see that here but the only difference here is we have explicitly defined a dependency Usually we use dependencies when we want to explicitly define some dependent services or resources which got, which gets created and after that we will be able to retrieve the data whatever we have in the value section. So in our case we were able to retrieve it earlier but still I wanted to show you an example of depends on that's why I added this specific section here. So you have to define the resource whatever you are trying to uh, have it dependent on and also the name of that particular resource whatever you have created so aws instance was the instance which we created and web1 is the name of that specific instance so that's how you can define output variables so these are the different concepts within terraform for creating variables so you can use local variables for having some repetitive values within the same terraform configuration using input variables we can inject things dynamically at runtime or you can use TF vars file using which you can leverage this like a property file where you can have key value pairs and then all these can be injected into your variables dynamically which are the input variables or and finally we saw what are output variables using which you can display or transmit data from one terraform module to another terraform module in a secure fashion if it is a sensitive data you can mark it as sensitive if it is dependent on a specific resource you can define the depends on section this is how you will define terraform variables within the terraform configuration file i hope it was pretty much useful in the next video we will be looking at terraform modules so that way we will be using the terraform variables to play around with modules across different folders as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much